Hey everybody, the Reeswirl here, and welcome back to more Final Fantasy XV. Okay, so, this session, I'm starting episode Gladiolus. Alright, this was going to be Breath of the Wild, but... Oh no, I just kind of fancied more Final Fantasy XV, especially considering it's not the base game anymore, it's just DLC stuff. But this takes place between chapters 6 and 7, I think? It's essentially when Gladio decides to leave the party for a period of time. Oh, there we go. I didn't realise it popped up with this. Oh, well, I know for future. But the cool thing about this... DLC... is you find out how Gladio got the scar across his forehead and the scar on his chest. Because he... when he comes back he has... like, you know, one hell of a... um... scar across both his forehead and chest. I'm pretty sure he's, he has the one across his left eye, but he's always had that. Either way. Wait, did th does that pop up with my, like, time? Oh, right. Okay, I've only been playing this for 40 seconds. Right, new game. Don't know if you choose a difficulty. Never mind. Normal. Normal. Thank you. Yeah, I've been kind of busy today doing, like, garden work and everything, so I'm <laughs> ridiculously fucked. But I did want to crowd something, so I just decided this. Either way, after suffering a humbling defeat at the hands of Ravis, Gladiolus embarks on a journey of self-discovery, his destination, the Tempering Grounds, where he seeks to undertake a trial of body and mind that has heretofore afforded but a soul, to soul survivor. Oh! So Gladio actually decided to leave because he, like, his pride was damaged. Because he's supposed to be the king's shield. And he kind of got, you know, owned by Ravis. Okay. That actually makes a bit of sense. I'm pretty sure we do get a bit more like, insight into everything as well. Which is cool. Which is probably my favourite part about all of these DLCs. Is the fact that they give a lot more backstory. Just in certain parts of the game. For Gladio, it's when he disappeared between chapter 6 and 7. I think it was those chapters anyway. For Ignis, it's basically what happened during Leviathan. And how he came to lose his eyesight. And in Prompto, it's when he got pushed off the train. Basically. Well, it'd be where Prompto got pushed off the train and ended up in the... Like, last area. I can't remember what it was called, though. Whoa! I'm stuffed. My compliments to the chef. What is that weapon? My pleasure. Did you enjoy your time with the marshal? Mm-hmm. Wait. Uh, so... Oh, uh, okay. What's that thing on your face? This? Yeah, oh, there we go. This marks the spot. That's nah, just a scratch. The other guy got off a lot worse. Worse than looking like some kind of thug? What? Speaking of which, who was this other guy? <sighs> they call him. Is it? Ah, oh, I was hoping he was going to use his proper name. I'm almost certain it's Gilgamesh. I mean, Gilgamesh is basically the Blade Master. The dude has like seven different fucking swords. Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, we're playing as Gladio, so it's different, I suppose. We have Glaive Arts and some other stuff. What the fuck? Striking and blocking. As Gladio differs from attacking and defending as Noctis, while other general actions such as moving and using items remain the same. So use that to strike, can string up to four hits into a combo. Wait, I'm doing this on my own? Alright. Oh, oh! I'm pretty sure as Gladio you don't get to change your weapon. But that still brings up me items. I don't have any. Oh! Oh, I can block. Block five enemy attacks. Alright. Come at me, you fuckheads. Oh! There's one. I can just hold it down. Oh, I do actually have like a stamina gauge. Oh! That was cool. One more. One more for the road. So that's easy enough. We do have rage too. Razor Edge. Glaive Arts. When Gladio's valor is high, press Y to perform one of his Glaive Arts. Gladiolus has several arts in his repertoire. The higher his valor, the stronger the art he can perform. 
Oh, whoa. Razor's Edge. Oh, Razor Edge. Oh. Come on, then. Earth Shatter. Sure. Come on. I also like how everything changed. Blocking attacks and taking damage increases Gladiolus's rage. Strikes will do more damage as his rage builds. Wipe out the enemies. Oh. Easy enough. Oh! No, I like how the text in the interface completely changes for each different character. It's just, it's one of the best things, I find. Oh, I can actually do Razor's Edge. Oh! Did we get him? Oh no, there's one left. Yeah! I missed. Because of course I did. Whatever. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, there we go. Yeah, the sword we're using is just the regular great sword, I think. Although it's changed. That is not the weapon I was using. Oh no, no it is. Never mind. Gladio. Hey, it's yeah, gone. Who you think it is? <laughs> Catch you in a bad time. Are you here yet? Yeah, I'm at the crow's nest. Good. Thanks for agreeing to meet with me. Sure. So, are you ready to move out? Of course. <sighs> Of course. We'll be right over. I'm really hoping this is not as broken as the first time I played it. Mostly because the first time I played it there were chunks of the map absolutely missing. And all I could see was like a bright white light from where the uh, stuff time. should be. It, it, it was still fun to play, it just looked a fucking mess. What'll it be? <sighs> just the water's fine. Thanks. Allow me to ask you once more. Are you sure you're ready to take on the Blade Master? <sighs> I went up against the High Commander and got my ass handed to me. I didn't stand a chance. And I never will unless I get more power. Then answer my question. Are you ready or not? <sighs> you think I would have called you here if I weren't? So you're ready to face death. <gasps> Gilgamesh awaits challengers hey. in the deepest recesses of those ruins. It is Gilgamesh. It's been 30 years since we uncovered the caves. We've sent countless expeditions, but all of our efforts have afforded us no rewards. And no survivors. I have such a smile Except on my face. For you, you undertook the trial, and you made it back alive. Whoa. I don't know, Gilgamesh is like really? one of my favorite monsters. Or bosses. I don't know why. I've just always l loved him. Of muscle Did you and metal. Tell your friends why you were taking off? Nope. Just said it was business. Didn't want him getting all worried about me. <laughs> or knowing your pride took a beating. Yeah, for Gladio it's more so probably a pride thing. Although I also think he's probably thinking ahead. Like if he couldn't defeat the High Commander, he was probably beating himself up as like, if I can't beat the High Commander, what chance do I have of protecting the King? Yeah, more than likely. Although he is also a very prideful person. The well-tempered Gladio. All right, I've got this. Ooh. I'm turning back now. No, there ain't. I really hope this ain't broken. Do I actually have multiple items? Oh, right, I have a high potion. Six potions and three phoenix stands. Should I need it? The bloody hell? Who the? Whoa. Wait, are these... Wait, were these the mechs? Like Magitech soldiers? Yeah, I think they are. Oh. I need to keep an eye out for items, because I don't have access to my endless supply. No, these are people. Were people. Oh, and they get reanimated. Of course they do. God, you look like enemies out of Dark Souls. Soul of Fortitude. Keep forgetting I can't just do what I do with Noctis. There's no way. For a second then I thought it was... Gilgamesh. I also like how the music changes entirely. Nice. Oh, 
Oh my god. The men have sworn their loyalty both before and beyond the grave. Scaring off the unworthy. They better prepare for disappointment. Oh, oh god. I forgot about the music. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, it really is. I just like the change in music. Because it's definitely a lot more, like, rock. Actually, the music for Gladio reminds me a lot more of, like, Devil May Cry. And, like, the, the type of music that's used in that series. It's great. I love it. Come oh, on. There we go. We got him. The only downside is, with Gladio, his health does not recover. It doesn't seem to, anyway. Makes things a bit of an issue. Um, yeah, I was looking around to see if I could find potions around. No matter. Alright. Oh, man. Love it. It's a, just such a change in atmosphere and everything. It's great. Get up. Hey, an item. God, I'm only picking up the one at a time. So, the question is... Okay, this doesn't look broken. I'm almost certain the time I've done this previously... ...is when you look down here, all you can see was like a bright-ass light. Oh, fuck. Made it. Whoa. Tempest! Woo! Oh yes! Oh nice, we got a blind side! Oh look at us! Stylish as ever! Oh! Try to block a guard breaking throw attack, his shield will shatter and he will take damage. Did that happen? Or was that just like a warning? Oh nice, another blind side! Oh! Oh, Carl, you are stylish as ever. We got him. Carl left the party. What? Oh, what? Oh, God, we're hallucinating. Uh, that's not Gilgamesh. I hope. No, because if it is, what have they done? It is! You are not Gilgamesh. Not the Gilgamesh I know. I am here to undertake the trial of Gilgamesh. God. And what is it you hope to be? Ooh. Power. And you are going to give it to me. Is that so? Oh. Ready oh, bloody hell. Defeat the Blade Master. Oh wow, I'm doing nothing. Jesus. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm gonna be doing much here. I do a hundred damage. Jesus. I get the feeling I'm supposed to die here. Yeah, I am. Oh. Huh. That is not the Gilgamesh I know. Still looks badass. But the King of Kings and his shield who can safeguard their lives. All those unworthy or unwilling to rise to the task meet their end here, by my blade. I ain't meet mine anytime soon. This trial hasn't even begun. If you do not fear death, then go forth with reckless abandon, and prove your worth. Yeah, the Gilgamesh I know has like four arms and seven swords. Oh. You are ready for this. In that case, let the trials begin. Oh, right, okay. So the Blade Master, he's a master of blades. Uh. What? Are you expecting something profound? No, what else would it? 
Yes, the Blade Master. He's a mage. I'm fucking... Oh, wow. I'm basically dead. Well, I'm hoping I can, like, pick up a potion. Fine, I'll have to use one, won't I? Restores half HP. That's a pain in the ears. Although the game seems to heal me at certain intervals. Watch it heal me. I've just used a potion, but watch it heal me. I got another potion. Alright. Oh man. Ooh. Okay. They give me a lot of potions. I kind of just wanted to give me a full heal. That would be nice too. <laughs> ah. Yeah, it's weird seeing Gilgamesh with a completely different form. But I think it's because I'm used to how he looked in Final Fantasy XII. Which was, he looked like a samurai, and he had seven. Seven swords and four arms. Oh, take a break. Yep, this is a full heal then, I suppose. Yeah, sure. Rest here. We don't actually have to cook anything. It's cool that I, go, I don't go through this on my own, seemingly. You go through it with Kor. Yes. Of course I'm going to save my progress. Are you kidding? Level 24? What? Should be using the Gladio from the, Blade the base game. To train you. He's here to test you. He won't go easy on you just because you joined the Crown's Guard. So, no mercy for newbies like me. Hmm. So what? The weak aren't worthy of serving as shield? In his eyes, the weak aren't worthy of living. All of them are fools, punished for aspiring beyond their station. I was a fool back then, too. And I was punished. How? But you weren't killed. Maybe you weren't worthy of serving a shield. But he must have seen you as worthy of living. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. Oh. Cool. Back to the trials. I think it's honestly a good idea to rest Keep at every camp. Open. Done and done. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure we get more insight into car and everything. And just more dialogue. Oh, Thunder Bombs. Nice. Oh. Oh, God. Holy fuck, there's enemies everywhere. I'm just gonna keep doing them. It hit small level enemies. Oh, I didn't need to do that. Crap. Oh! Yeah, the, the skeletons aren't an issue. At all. Hmm. Another potion. Right, so if it recovers half health, I have about, I've got 4,000. Sure. When I get to like 2k, is when I should use it. Wait a minute. Is where I need to go? What's that up here? It's up there, okay. Go around the outside first. Because there's more than likely an item. And what do you know? It's just potions, but still. Potion is better than no potion. Especially with the limited items I do currently have. Alright. Your skill is impressive. So is the soul Gilgamesh? We're gonna find out now, aren't we? Senor. Oh, I see a few Reapers. Yeah, this is actually not completely broken. Good. Because it looked kind of awful when it was completely broken. Oh, bloody hell. I kind of wish I could do what I do with Noctis and just block when needed. But that's not something you can do, which kind of blows. You have to kind of make a choice if you want to block or not. There are a lot of dead bodies. They weren't kidding when they said a lot of people tried this and died. Oh yeah, go for a jump, jump attack! Uh, that did not work at all. Wait. Might as well get him. Boom, 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 boom. 
See, I get the feeling that I should go for, like, higher range, but at the same time, I'm just like, mm, maybe not. I got two, two times, so I do double damage. No, no, I don't. I do slightly better than normal. Oh, I can't do that there. I'm not actually sure what happens if I try an outfit Gladio, like whether it lets me or not. What the hell, where am I going? Outside the map. Oh! <laughs> it's like I'm doing a golf swing. <laughs> but... Oh, I missed. Well, uh, there we go. Alright. So, what is this? Potion? Yeah, yeah, perfect. I've got 13 of them. So, oh! He can equip a variety of gear. An icon legend can be viewed from the main menu with Y. Oh, okay. Gladio! What? Oh! Crown's guard fatigue, no jacket. He has less health, higher power, and more strength. Nah. What does it look like? Oh, uh, right, yeah, yeah. And car? The Kotet. Oh, God. Kotetsu. Oh, he's level 52. To be fair, I think Kaw's only with us to kind of make sure that we don't die. More than likely. Yeah, I would assume so. So just to ensure that Gladio is okay and not on death's door. Because as Kaw said, he tried this trial and failed. And was punished, apparently. I don't know how, but apparently he was punished. Touch. Oh, it's a sword. A trial chamber. The hand holding stops here. Good luck. Oh. Wait. So I'm assuming Carl must not accompany us. Is that a new weapon? Oh, never mind. Oh, it's a necromancer and a bunch of skeletons. I have Tempest. Nurgle. <laughs> Nurgle. Only the issue with Gladio is the fact he's so slow. Yeah, I kind of don't like it. I also like how it's using Petrify, but it won't affect me from the looks of things. There we go. I really should probably lock on. Yeah, probably. Ooh! Tempest. Oh yeah! Ah, oh, great Emu. Fucking poison. What a prick. Holy crap. Okay, it does hit me, it just... Not as bad. So I can actually do perfect blocks. Okay. Oh, yeah! Oh, this thing is speedy. Razor Edge. Got it. There we go. Right, okay. Receives the soul's power. Oh, there we are. Yay! Our power goes with you now, young warrior. Huh. So now he's stronger. Okay. Wait, so does Cod join us again, or are we back? Ah, oh, he does. Okay. Gladiolus has completed the first of the soul's trials. He can now perform blocks capable of withstanding the mightiest of blows, even those dealt by the Blade Master himself. Oh! This is cool. Oh my god, I'm fast! Thanks for the advice. Oh, there we go. I was just like, pick me up. super speedy. Well, you made it out alive. Your first trial may have ended, but many more await you on your road to an audience with the Blade Master. Prepare yourself. You got it. 
Oh, another phoenix down. And a camp. Yeah, I think when I come across any camp, I will probably... I'll just have to get more stuff. Yeah, I'll rest. Time to take a load off. Rest here. It's also Better because it serves as a save point. So, it's a, probably a good idea. Oh, we both have cup of noodles. Save your progress. How many must he have brought with him? That's all we're fucking like... What is it? Did I save? Yeah, 24 minutes. My Holy father balls. never undertook the trial of Gilgamesh, did he? No. You want to know why? I do. I mean, it can't be because he was scared, right? Sorry, Gelmond. I'll answer in a minute. Of the trial, oh, Gelmond. Sorry. Scared of failing as leader of the Crown's Guard and as shield of the King. He couldn't leave his majesty alone, weakened by the wall as he was. After all, what good is a shield with no one to protect? What about you? Worried about leaving your majesty alone? Well, a little. But I'm gonna do what's right for me, like my father did what was right for him. Hmm. Right, okay. Um, it's not a side quest. Much more than it's I the said. DLC. I'm currently playing through episode Gladio. Because last session I basically finished everything there is to do in Final Fantasy XV. The only thing left I have to do is the P uh, Pityos Dungeon. Which is gonna be a trial and a half. But I'm doing all the DLCs first, and then I'll do the, the dungeon. Or was it here where everything was broken? Texture-wise. Oh, gosh. Almost went careening off the edge. How long has it been since you undertook the trial? 30 years or so? Give or take. I was a lot younger than you are. And far less experienced. God, how old is Carl? I wonder I even made it out alive. Is he just under 50? Does this place look familiar to you? Vaguely. The younger me had little mind for taking in the sights. Oh, I can't go up. Alright. Potion. Right, I'm getting a lot of those. Can't complain. Ooh. Wherever I can find a, an item, I need to take it. Ah, oh, boy. I thought that sounded like dogs. Oh, the wolf. Whatever the hell they are. I uh, don't see anything. Ooh. Never mind. <laughs> I always manage to spot the uh, potions. Oh. It's the bullets. Pull crumbling columns from the ground and swipe them to topple even the fiercest foes. Jesus. The hardest non-boss mo non monster. Uh can use this as a weapon. What? Oh my god, I can. Hardest non-boss. Uh, do the hunts count? Oh my god. Because if the, hu the hunts don't count, then I would probably say the Adamantis. Mostly because it's got a lot of health. Aside from that, actually, I'm wrong. The hardest non-boss monster is what is known as Omega that you can find in the Crown City. It's literally really difficult to defeat. It's only weak to thunder and invulnerable to everything else. And it probably will one-shot you. No matter how high level you are. Oh, come on. Yeah! I can't let Gladio do it and pick up a fucking column. He is quite literally just a meathead. Boom! I keep thinking I can open these. Shit. So yeah, if you go to chapter... No, if you go to the Crown City and search around, you'll end up coming across an enemy that appears from, like, a portal. That's Omega. And trust me, it's basically impossible to kill. You can kill it. It's... But it's only weak to thunder. So make sure you have a lot of thunder magic, I guess. I think I tried to fight it for, like, five minutes. And I got nowhere, so I was like, yep, this ain't happening. 
I also don't know what level it is. It might be 99, but it also might not be. I really can't remember. Oh, bloody hell. I didn't realise these guys were kind of like hung upside down and pinned to the wall. Ah, oh, the band of snatches. Another trial chamber. And another chance for the warriors to impart their wisdom. I mean, I won't say the band of snatch is small time, but... It's probably one of the hardest things you'll go against early game. But then you realise they're kind of a pushover. I would also say to, to fight Adamantus as well, because that's a really cool thing to fight. Oh nice, I get to use the columns. Damn right. No! What the fuck? Um, on Wings of Fire, the Enkidu. 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 Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. Come on, Dragon Breath. Can I use Glaive Arts while I'm holding a column? Oh, bloody hell. I'm making me aware. Oh my god, I can. <laughs> That's utterly ridiculous. But I love it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh dear. Oh god. Uh. Nice! Oh my god, I get to ride it. I'm just punching it. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> No, it's vulnerable. Uh, I should probably heal. Oh, wow. <laughs> Although I do have to ask, what did you think the, the weapon carts were? That you find in like all the different... Um, outposts? Or havens? I can't remember what they're called. The towns, essentially. Oh, sure. Oh, I'm Rizridge. Never mind. Oh, dear. Yes! Ride it again! <laughs> Punch it some more! I don't think this is going to kill it, but... It's close! Can get a few hits in. Yeah! Oh, fuck. Ooh. Well, I like that I'm only fighting this thing on its own. Oh, great. Yeah, I'm gonna use a potion again. Oh, right, fair enough. I mean, considering you said you just got the game, but beat the main story, I kind of assumed... ...you ran through everything. I did it. I have to receive the soul's power, of course. Alright. wasn't too bad. What is it I can do now? I'm gaining new abilities. Venture forth, young warrior, bearing our hopes and dreams. Oh yeah, the game's a breeze. You can now perform the male song glare up when his valor is high. Oh, there we go. For the shield of the king must safeguard our future. Okay, this is like... Ah, Oh no, there we go. Speed hacks. I'm able to move really quick without sprinting. Is car not joined? Yeah, whatever. I'll be fine. Shared by these souls have been passed down for generations. Where's Carl? The shield of the king would do well to put them to good use. Carl? I don't know. I can hear his voice, but he's not here. Alright, no, whatever. Maybe he'll just appear when I get into a fight or something. Soul of Valor. Oh my. Earth Shatter. Fuckos. Oh god, there's a lot of them. Oh god, I knocked on my ass. Raise Ridge. Yeah! I love when they're all close together. Oh, Car is here. So he did just reappear. Alright, whatever. All of them. 